G'day all. Um, I ordered this Endro More engine a few weeks ago and uh, it arrived last week and I've spent days making this um, timber base for it. Um, I've made the brass bolts. Also I made, I haven't done anything like this before, I turned this on the lathe and um, I put a, a steel disc in the middle there and then I put one of those rare earth magnets there so that just fits under there so any petrol dripping from the carburetor will drop in there I put it on a, a raised plinth here so I've raised up the fuel tank the same um, height as that plinth there made these bolts out of some hex on the lathe uh, made the, the battery box but one problem I'll just give you a look I'm pretty happy with love the look of this engine absolutely love the look of it love how the um, the timbers come out it's a uh, Merbo which is a fairly common timber to buy down here in Australia but one problem is I can't get a spark out of this I've spent hours now trying to get a spark I've got the electrics coming from the battery box a little bit untidy at the moment but it was tidier than that so I've got the electrics down here so this one's a little bit different than the other hit and miss engines that I've got that have got um, the hall sensor this one's got this reed, I'll just show you that reed so that's open so that then makes a contact open makes a contact I've got it earthed onto that cylinder head screw there but for the life of me I cannot get a spark of, of I'm not, I admit, I'm not the handiest with electronics. I've got that and I've been testing for continuity. Um, I can trace it all. In here, on that reed, there's three wires coming up. There's a black, a red, and a white. The red one's not connected to anything. It's only the black one and the white one that's connected. So, anyone out here, out there that's got one of these, could you tell me if that's right? Should the red wire coming up to this reed valve not be connected to anything? Should it just be uh, the black and the white? That's how it's come from the factory. That one's got me, that's got me a little bit stumped that. But uh, I've taken this wheel off. Uh, the governor fell apart. But I think I've got that all back together. Is the way it should be working. So in here there's that little slot there so when the governor is going fast I'm sure that's going to go into there lock into there but that's not moving at all at the moment so that's another question is that right should that be moving in and out now or is that only going to happen when that governor and I'll just get just grab something Sorry to be moving that video around like this. So that's there. If I push up here, um, that's pushing in. I hope the video is catching that. That's pushing in there now. So I'd say under centrifugal force, that's going to push in there. But it's not doing anything at the moment. So that's something else. But if anyone got any ideas on um, why I'm not getting a spark and how I should use the multimeter from here when that's on what can I do to test how to get a spark why I'm not getting a spark and if it's wiring or if somehow um, the box has been fried 
I'm just not sure. I'm absolutely 100% stu uh, stumped. Really want to get this running. As you can see, I've, I've really spent some um, hours on this, making it look good. I'm really happy with it. It just looks fantastic. But uh, I, I can't get it. I cannot get a spark up onto this. Nothing I can do. I've tried different batteries. Um, can't even hear anything. I thought. I did think that when that was on, I thought I'd even hear when they touched. I thought I'd literally be able to lift that up with a bit of plastic or something. Okay, so that's that's. I thought I'd be able to lift that up and hear a spark go across, just like that. But I can't get any spark. All right. Um, if anyone's got any ideas or help, I'd really appreciate it. I'd uh, haven't even put fuel in it yet. But um, yeah, there we go. Beautiful looking engine. Um, very, very, very happy with the timber base, how it's come out looking nice on, on that. But uh, again, anyone's got any hints, suggestions, I'd be really, really happy. Thanks for that. Bye now.